It's going to be so hot outside. Ooh. Let's go back to Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranieri. Yes. We were showing those, you know, that lake area, and you need like to make a reservation. This yeah. is where you need the old slip and slide. Yeah. Oh, those were Remember awesome. Those? Yes. yes. You got to improvise, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, usually not too expensive. Get the garden hose. Uh, you know, use that water sparingly. Of course, we're in a drought, but a uh, good way for you and your kids uh, to stay cool. Now, it also felt a little bit strange outside today. We'd been telling you about these clouds that would be moving in and a little bit of humidity, and that's here with us. You can see it right now in our San Francisco camera. And uh, so just a little bit unusual because normally when we get the heat, we just have full on sunny skies. Let's take a look at the heat out towards Walnut Creek, currently 96 degrees. Thankfully, with the elevated fire danger, the winds are calm. We don't see any big wind events during this heat wave, so that is some good news. But the bad news comes as we continue through tonight. We're holding on to 90s through 7 p.m. We're dropping into the 80s in 8 and 9 o'clock, and uh, this is really outrageous for us. We're holding on to 70s here at 10 and 11 o'clock, even right into midnight. So if you don't have air conditioning, maybe phone a friend that has it, or certainly remember to just hydrate, drink lots of water. Heat warnings are widespread, and yes, the deserts always get hot out towards Vegas and Phoenix, but they're up to 120. That'd be some record-setting heat for them as well, all the way up to Salt Lake City, and then, of course, most of California under these heat warnings, and uh, that's, of course, why they do have those flex alerts that have been issued. So hopefully we don't have any power outages, but uh, we also are covering that at NBCBayArea.com. Now, this strange weather pattern, it's all due to this hot area of high pressure. It's sitting over the desert southwest. I described it yesterday. It's like turning the oven on broil, opening the door, and really everyone's just getting blasted by the heat here as this pulls up the hot air uh, through tomorrow. Some humidity, even a little bit of cloud cover here as we roll through tomorrow's forecast. We don't see any thunderstorms, but we're keeping an eye on that radar. So let's show you the clouds. 7 o'clock in the morning, there they are, streaming across the bay. And it looks pretty similar for the afternoon. Some clouds here and there. But, of course, it's all about the temperature. So let's show you tomorrow morning. We're starting it off in the 70s, 74 in the Tri-Valley. 71 in the South Bay. Also, more of these 70s over the East Bay to start. Uh, San Francisco in the North Bay, not quite as warm because we'll have a little bit of an ocean breeze there, and you'll begin in the 60s. Daytime highs tomorrow, they're going to go up, especially around Morgan Hill and Gilroy, low 100s. Hottest weather, no doubt, right here into Pleasanton, 104. Also, Livermore, 107. And the extreme heat, Concord, 108. Antioch, 108. Right through the peninsula, 93 in Redwood City. Half Moon Bay, 73. San Francisco, a mix, 67. Seven in the marina, then out to the Mission 80. And let's bring it up to the North Bay, 101 here in Sonoma. So how does this stack up to our records? Well, you can see I do think we'll break some records here in Concord with that 108. Old record is 100. Livermore 107 is my forecast, and the record is 104. So scorching tomorrow. We will start to see things cool down as we roll through this upcoming weekend. Let's get a look at that seven-day forecast here for San Francisco. 70s next couple of days, and then we got some 60s by Sunday's forecast. And through the inland valleys, we're also dropping it down to 92 by Sunday and much, much better as we roll through next week. That 78 on Tuesday is going to feel real good right about uh, now. Thinking about that, it's going to be comfortable next yeah, week. Yeah, those are your favorite temperatures in yeah. the 70s. All right, You're thank good. you, Jeff.